Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a very special video and today it is going to be on all my motor speed road the south races. Now I did already pre-record this before but YouTube didn't process it so now I have to pre-record it again and as it was a 20 minute long video it probably failed to upload and I'm really really upset and have to start all over again. But anyways guys this was suggested to me by Rusty's95 and I'd like to thank Rusty's95 for suggesting this. And I believe this is my 100th upload on my channel, so please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm currently at 181 subscribers at the time of recording this, so make sure to, you know, like and subscribe. Anyways, let's get on to this review. So let's just get over some cars here. Here is Lightning McQueen, of course. Uh, I just chose like, Determined Lightning McQueen because, you know, he is one that's like... Normal, I mean, they should have chose this in the Motor Speed of the South set, but they didn't in the end. There's his base if you're interested, because it's got a nice determined expression. <coughs> Next up we have Chick Hicks. I'm just going to do a really, really quick review of these, because my video did fail, and I have to talk all over again, and I did promise you guys it'd be out. Here is Chick, got all those sponsors, he races for HTB, Her Hostel Takeover Bank. Number 86. There's his base if you're interested. Next up, of course, is the king. I just brought out a king. I know he's got loads of dents on him. But yep, he's the racer for Dynaco and he's number 43. Up next, we have Aiken Axler. He is the Nitroid racer. He's number 28. You can see there. There's the base if you're interested. Very nice. Next up we have Winfred Buffett Rutherford, who's the RPM racer, number 64, very nice. If you'd like to see any reviews of these, please let me know in the comments below. Here is Top Marcus, he races for No Stool, and he is number 123. Here's the base if you're interested. Next up we have Van der Sage, he's the Gaskets racer, he's number 80. One of my favourite ones. There's the base if you're interested. Next up we have the Sidewall Shine Racer. He's number 74. There's the base if you're interested. He's your yellow. One of the sponsors that ended up going bust between Cars 1 and Cars 3. Here is Jamie, I believe that is his name. He is the Vitaline Racer, number 61 or 19. Now he's you turn it the other way around, it looks like a 19. Like this way, it looks like a 19. There is the base if you are interested. Next up is the Enter Encoder Racer, which I've forgotten the name of. He is the number 68 racer. Very nice. Nice rings as well. There's the base if you are interested. Next up we have Davy Apex. Very nice. He's the 84 racer, alongside the Apple Icar, which I will explain in a bit. Very, very nice. 84 revolting, there's the base if you're interested. Actually, I'm going to do it while I'm here. Let me just find the Apple Icar. There it is. Now, my Apple Icar does have a few dents on him, because I did used to play with him when I was like 8 or 9 years old, when I first originally got him. So, yep, that's very, very nice. I'm now 17, if you're wondering. There's the Apple car, number 84. They share the same number for some reason. The The Apple car of 84 is the first Apple device made, I believe, or computer. There's the base with the number there, original number, the right rims. Very, very nice. Let's put those to the side. Up next, we have the toe cap racer. Very nice. Number four, forgotten his name. There's his base if you're interested. Up next we have the Leak Less Racer, which I've forgotten the name of. Number 52, all yellow, the yellow rims. One of the first racers to be released way back in 2007, I believe, or 2006. There's the base. Next up we have Ryan Shields, which we are getting a metallic release this year. I believe, or next year, whenever. 
Here's the Viewzine Racer, number 39. All the blue rims. Next up we have Lee Webkins. He is the Transberry Juice Racer, number 63. Very nice. Here is Sparrow Mint. He, I believe this is only Gearson, I'm not sure. Number 93. There's the base if you're interested. Now, if you do want to see any reviews on these, please let me know in the comments below. Up next is Del Hot on Jr. Now, Mattel did lose the rights to produce him, so he will never, never, ever get re released again. So, if you see him at a store, well, not a store, but in a, in a charity shop or a store or second hand store, make sure to pick him up, even if he's like one pound, two pound. I have about six or seven of him, just in case. There is his base. Next up we have Punchy Wipeout, the Bumper Save Racer. Number 90. Red, white and blue. Very nice. Race grooves are like this car. And another red, white and blue car. Ralph Carlisle, which both continued on to Cars 3. Who are you going to call? Ralph Carlisle, 117. You can see Lily Torpy Pistons Racer. And 7 on the side. And a the talky piston piston there. There's his base if you're interested. I really like the red rings on him. Up next we have Greg Candyman, an all time favourite. Fortunately one of the sponsors that did die in Cars 3 and go bust. Taco Mint 101. If you'd like to see a review on him, please let me know in the comments below. There's his base if you're interested. Up next we have Kevin Racing Tire. This is the pink version of him. I, uh, I do own the red version of him. So let's see a review of that in the comments below. Please let me know. There's the base of him. Very, very, very nice. Here's the gas pin racer, which I've forgotten the name of. Is that a boy? Very nice. You've got yellow and blue. There's the base for you interested. Here's the Spotter Spot Race, I believe it's Murray Clutchburn, I'm not 100% sure. Spotter Stop 92. There's his base if you're interested. If you'd like to see any reviews on these, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to do them. Here is Johnny Blamer. Blame the racer if he crashes, not him, because his name is Johnny Blamer. So blame everything on him. Joking. Got them some nice dirt up there. He's the four wheel drive racer. And four wheel drive is a nice customer, so shout out to him. There's the base if you're interested. Down to the last few now. Here's Dirks and Diestino, one of the few ones that continued on to Cars 3. The trunk fish racer, number 34. Nice lime green rims. There's the base. It is Ruby, the Easy Idol Racer, 51. Very, very nice. There's the base, if you're interested. There's the front. Nice blue car. The number has recently changed. It is Red Mika, I believe. He's the Tank Coat Racer, number 36. Of course, there's the base. Nice pink rims. Here is Misty, we're down to our last five. The Rev and Go Racer 73, blue rims. There's the base. Here is one of the sponsors that did unfortunately go bust between Cars 1 and Cars 3. The Retread Racer with the purple rims, number 79, which I forgot the name of. There is the base if you're interested. Next up, we have the Vinyl 2P Racer. It was originally only available in France way back in the day of 29 or 2008 when he was first released. Vinyl 2P for 76. I believe it's one of the ones that have gone bust, unfortunately. There is the base. Here is Billy Oil Changer. Very, very nice. He's the Octane Gain Racer. 58 with the orange rims. There's the base if you're interested. Here's the fiber fuel racer, which unfortunately is another one that went bust 
in the time between cars one and three. Very, very nice. Number 56. There is the base if you're interested. Here is Darren Ledford, and this is the last one that I'll be showing you today. He's the shiny wax racer. And there's the base. Now, I would like to apologise that this video is way much shorter than the one I already recorded. Because YouTube decided to, you know... Well, my phone decided to go... The Wi-Fi decided to go, Oh, I'm turning off and I'm going to use data instead. And it failed to process the video. So, yeah, that's why it's not as long. But I would like to get my favourite ones out again. Which I did do. And, unfortunately... There is one car I forgot, and that is Mood Springs. I did forget a Mood Springs racer, so I'd like to apologise for that. I'll do a review on him this week to make sure I make up for my mistake. But let me get my other nine favourite racers out here. We have the Gaskets racer, we have the Apple R car racer. Like I've already said thousands of times, we have Lee Revkins. And if you'd like to see a review on any of these, please let me know in the comments below. I will not do them all at the same time because it's a too long of a video for me to view every team in depth. It will be about like two hours long. Misty, one of my favourites. We have Sputterstock, which is another one of my favourites. If this works, we have Ralph Carlisle, another one of my favourites. Uh, another one of my favourites is Subtle Shine. This is really hard to do. There we go. And my last favourite one, apart from the one that I've forgotten, has to go to Red Miko over here. Let's try and do this. Yay, we done it. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Sorry it wasn't as long as the other one, and this is only 12 minutes long. But, like I said, if you'd like to see any of the Pistol Cup Racer reviews separate, let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, to make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And the only reason why I'm uploading daily or hundreds of videos on my channel recently is because I really miss my old friends, and if they are watching this, Hello to them. Uh, I would like another chance because I have changed in the time we haven't been friends. But that is completely up to them. But anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Fortunately, I didn't bring mood swings out and make up for that. Anyways, I've already said. Bye now.